in the setting of elderly patients with multiple myeloma, we have currently different treatment options for first-line therapy. One is the combination of melphalan, prednisone and thalidomide. Another is the combination of melphalan, prednisone and bortezomib. Another combination is melphalan, prednisone, lenalidomide, followed by lenalidomide. And as we heard at this ASH meeting, the combination of lenalidomide and low-dose dexamethasone. Choosing between one of these four options depends on many factors. One is our patient re patients related factors. For example, renal is insufficiency or a history of deep venous thrombosis or a history of polyneuropathy and this leads us to a different um, treatment regime. Regarding the efficacy data, one has to mention that the combination of melphalan, prednisone and bortezomib in the VISTA trial had a firm advantage in overall survival of 13 months. So this is for sure an option which should be considered. Regarding treatment duration, if we choose the combination melphalan, prednisone, bortezomib, in my opinion, it's important to go for a treatment duration of one year. This in, is in line with the results of the VISTA trial. And in daily practice, it's often a difficult task to motivate the patient for such a long treatment duration. It's well known that achieving a complete remission is an important prognostic factor. So for this reason, it's also important to go for a treatment regime which guarantees a high proportion of complete remission. Regarding side effects, peripheral neuropathy is one major side effect of a bortezomib containing regimen. There are two options in the setting of elderly patients. In my opinion, it's important to use what the one weekly dosing schedule and the other option is to use the subcutaneous administration. And if we combine one weekly subcutaneous, even in the absence of clinical data for this combination, in this situation we have a low rate of peripheral neuropathy and we can normally, usually we can achieve the treatment duration of one year. It's important to clinically monitor the patients and in case of developing peripheral neuropathy that we lower the dose of bortezomib. For bortezomib, it's well established that retreatment after a treatment-free interval of at least six months is effective and in case of a good response of first-line bortezomib-containing regimen, it's worthwhile to consider retreatment with another bortezomib-containing regimen. The take-home message after this ASH meeting, it's important for our patients that we have now at least four different options for first-line treatment of elderly patients. And to consider one for a certain patient, it's important to discuss with the patients the pro and cons and the improvement in the spectrum of the therapeutic possibility is a clear advantage.